Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve high memory usage by SVC host on your Windows computer. So if you open up your task manager and this process is taking up a good amount of your memory, this tutorial will be for you. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the star menu and you want to type in services. Best man should say services right above desktop app. You want to left click on that one time. And now you want to go down to Windows Update right here. And basically you want to right click on it and select properties. So for startup type, you want to click on this drop down arrow and you want to set it to manual. And then click on apply and OK. Please note you're going to have to manually install updates after you've done this. So in order just to update, I'd recommend just setting a reminder for yourself every once in a while to go into Star Menu and then go underneath Windows Update. And then just check for updates this way. It's not actually disabling Windows Update. I would just recommend that you just manually go in and check for updates when you want to check for updates instead of it continuously checking for updates in the background. Now some people might disagree with me on this, but if you're experiencing really high disk usage, I really don't see the harm in checking for updates periodically especially if you're using good practices when you're using your computer, like having user account control enabled, having a good anti-malware, anti-virus filter set up, having DNS protection and whatnot. So there's plenty of other ways to protect your computer as well. So if you delay your Windows updates by a few days or a week, it shouldn't really be that big of a deal. And usually most updates are released on Patch Tuesday, which is the first Tuesday of the month. So I just want to put that out there. So you really probably have to check once a month but I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.